For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Brazil is going through one of the most challenging moments in its recent history, and there's no clear end in sight. As of Thursday, August 6th, there have been over 2,900,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 98,400 deaths in the country. Meanwhile, the authoritarian nature of the Bolsonaro government has rapidly intensified. Bolsonaro, acting against all public health specialists as well as international entities and protocols, has denied the pandemic and adopted incorrect and disastrous measures. His grave mismanagement of the virus has made Brazil the global epicenter of COVID-19. In addition to contributing with the loss of tens of thousands of lives, the negligence and the lack of control with which Brazil has responded to the pandemic has launched it into one of the worst social and economic crises in recent history, with the mass elimination of jobs and companies. The unemployment rate increased by 24.7% between May and July, putting it at 13.1%. There are no more doubts that the Bolsonaro administration is set on infringing on national sovereignty taking away rights and attacking the other branches of power, threatening democracy itself. He has attempted to control organs of intelligence, investigation, and security in a neo-fascist manner. However, while Bolsonaro continues to impose his iron rule, the dissatisfaction with his government among Brazilian society has been growing, and support to the slogan, Fora Bolsonaro, Out Bolsonaro, is greater than ever. The broad majority of Brazilian society opposes this government. Diverse movements, trade unions, and civil society organizations have congregated under the Fora Bolsonaro campaign in defense of democracy, national sovereignty, and rights. The campaign declared, We know that the Brazilian people have already overcome many crises, and we will once again overcome the one that we are experiencing now. This is why it is the moment to ask for unity of all people committed with democracy, protection of life, and with the social rights of the Brazilian people. Our hope comes from our diversity and our plurality, important characteristics of our people. It also comes from the thousands of initiatives of solidarity that are being carried out to fill the gap of state abandonment to those that most need the support. We want Brazil to stop being the territory of intolerance and of hatred. We are one people and at the same time, diverse, creative, and joyful. Today, August 7th, the day which Brazil is expected to confirm over 100,000 deaths from COVID-19, mobilizations have been organized across the country and on social media to denounce the criminal actions of Jair Bolsonaro. Yeah,